I upgraded this device in a previous video to 32 gigabytes of RAM and 1 terabyte of SSD storage. The processor and graphics remained unchanged at 2.5 GHz quad core Intel Core i5 and AMD Radeon HD 6750M 5.2 MB as shown here. Today I will be exploring the prospect of running the latest Mac OS, Mac OS Sequoia 15.0 on this 13 year old iMac and taking a look at the implication of using it for performing day-to-day -day computer tasks. So stay with me and let's do this. To do this, you would need to have the latest version of OpenCore Legacy Patcher installed on your iMac. As at the time of this video, the latest version of OpenCore Legacy Patcher is version 2.0.1. For unsupported PCs that need to be upgraded to Mac OS Sequoia 15.0, there are two available methods to getting this done. The first method involves the creation of an open core legacy patcher bootable USB, which provides the opportunity for a fresh Mac OS Sequoia installation. While the second method involves having either Mac OS 12 Monterey, Mac OS 13 Ventura, or Mac OS 14 Sonoma already running with OpenCore Legacy Patcher on the unsupported device. I will be demonstrating the first method in a different video, so kindly subscribe to the channel if you have not yet subscribed so you can get to know when this video drops. For this video, I will be concentrating on upgrading to Mac OS Sequoia using the second method. As you can see, the iMac is currently running Mac OS Ventura. Therefore, I can proceed to the next step of the installation. I head over to System Settings and select Software Updates. You need to be connected to the internet for this step. The system checks for the available updates and reveals that a Mac OS Sequoia 15.0 update is available. I click on Upgrade Now and click on Agree to proceed with the download of Mac OS Sequoia. A few moments after the download commences, OpenCore Legacy Patcher notices the download and brings up this pop-up that explains that the patcher will prepare the system for the updates and download any additional resources needed after the update. This action by the patcher is really helpful in ensuring that the iMac is up and running smoothly after the update. I click OK and the download commences simultaneously with the download of Mac OS Sequoia. OpenCore Legacy Patcher completes the download and begins preparing the system for the updates. The download of Mac OS Sequoia and the preparation for installation step lasted for 35 minutes. When this step completes, the Apple logo and the progress bar comes up on the screen and the installation continues. The installation phase lasted for 19 minutes and the system restarted three times in the process. The system eventually reveals my system login page and I enter my system password to log into the system. I noticed that the lock screen, the wallpaper, and the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are currently down. This is because the OpenCore Legacy Patcher for Mac OS Sequoia are yet to be installed. The OpenCore Legacy Patcher jumps right in and immediately begins downloading the kernel debug kit, after which the root patches are applied. The graphics and networking drivers are patched during this process and I am prompted to restart the iMac. 
the system restarts and I enter my password once more to log in. This time around, the lock screen is functional and the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and wallpaper are all up as well. As you can see, this is still the same IMA 21.5 inch Mi 2011 with the same hardware features, now running Mac OS Sequoia 15.0. Thanks for watching and have an awesome day. Bye for now.